Hello, comic fans. Here's Earl Grey. Cheers. Uh, actually, I just wanted to talk about one book today, and that's the new one by Brecht Evans, The City of Belgium, um, which belongs already to my uh, top 10 books of this year, just to keep you a bit hooked. But uh, since his um, color work, his use of colors is so spectacular, again, in this book here, I thought, why not do a, a little overview about other artists uh, slash cartoonists slash comic related artists um, that are dear to my heart because of their special use of colors. I did videos for almost all of them, but yeah, this is, as I said, it, uh, some kind of overview. Um, for example, Lorenzo Matotti, maybe the first name that comes to my mind when I uh, think of yeah, uh, colors and comics, uh, along with Brecht Evans in the meantime, I have to really to say, but um, Lorenzo Matotti's Fire, this is the German version, Feuer, um, is an outstanding example for his use of colors. He belonged to this um, color direct movement or school back in the day and uh, I guess uh, until now there are still cartoonists who work in that way and uh, Lorenzo Matotti as well. They painted or have painted uh, directly on their line drawings so there's no separation between line art and colors and you can feel this unity uh, of vision that uh, is taking place here. And he has always this uh, use of um, pastel uh, chalks and, 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 and oil chalks. It's pretty unique. I uh, wanted to show you actually some other book that I got in the meantime and most probably haven't shown before. That's this little catalog here called Zenyi e Colori. Um, one of these art books uh, with stuff by Lorenzo Matotti that I own in the meantime. And uh, with art books, it's yeah very um, good, I guess, to, to check out if there is something out, even though this is all Italian and I don't read Italian really, but you don't buy art books because of the intros and these intelligent texts, but because of Okay, this is even an example of uh, the aforementioned uh, fire. And here's the cover of The Man at the Window, one of my favorite comics by him. But lots of uh, artwork that you may haven't seen before. Um, some stuff is included in these huge tomes called um, Matotti Works which I own as well, which I highly recommend it. If you are uh, interested in Matotti, uh, uh, check out Matotti Works. I, huge tomes, not very cheap, but really worth every cent. Bicycle Day by Brian Blomath about the uh, invention of LSD. <laughs> Maybe this is uh, yeah one of the most far out comics uh, in, in terms of the use of colors. Really, um, yeah, um, uses the theme of the book, uh, the invention of LSD, as a good excuse or reason to do this kind of stuff here. Fantastic book. Um, and coloring not always has to be a uh, rocket science or is not rocket science which uh, Jesse Jacobs shows here in this book here because this color scheme here is very simple actually following uh, the sequence of the rainbow colors in each and almost uh, with a um, yeah, mathematically but to very good effect about this strange story about these kids that explore uh, other dimensions in the washing machine. <laughs> Jesse Jacobs is uh, some kind of natural born artist who, who comes to real 
cool solution, very easy handed it feels, uh, you know what I mean. Uh, he just does stuff that is amazing, <laughs> which is a great gift. Uh, same seems to be uh, the case for Jean Vermilier, Vermilier however, um, even though he hasn't done too much stuff, at least as I have seen before. So he's, um, I'm pretty sure after I, I've done this video, I re will remember some other comic by him, but for now, I think this is the only one um, of him. Okay, this book here maybe could uh, live without the colors, but it wouldn't be half as amazing. Uh, Mattioli's Squeak the Mouse. I got the sense that the English version is um, almost sold out, at least hard to get, but there's no problem uh, if you get an, a Spanish version like I did here, um, because it's a silent comic and uh, yeah. And the Spanish Banderol here increases the pulp factor, at least for me. I mean, I don't know, but uh, Squeak the Mouse is una parodia de los dibocios animados protagonistas. Anyhow, uh, you just have to look at the cover and you know what uh, awaits you here. Totally ever and fun. Uh, and as this banderol says, obviously, uh, it was uh, the inspiration for It's Sheen Scratchy in The Simpsons. So here you have some impression of this real, in the best way, childish cartooning, um, but it's not for kids, not at all, because it had all lots, uh, all sorts of not for kids uh, stuff in it. And the colors are really amazing. It's, um, especially with this hardcover edition here by Fulgencio Pimentel. Uh, they used um, Mati paper um, for it uh, that make it feel almost like the uh, you have original art. Uh, and uh, someone has drawn really uh, for just for you some kind of felt pen uh, drawing here. Another book that makes wonderful use of colors, even though uh, you may can argue that this book would be uh, pretty amazing without the colors as well, is uh, the most recent book by Samplerman, or maybe uh, Samplerman, because uh, this book here was obviously uh, published in France first. Uh, it has some kind of French text. This is the only uh, stuff in French here. The rest of the book uh, is just art. Um, I got it uh, by uh, the fine folks of Kush, uh, the publisher of mini comics in Latvia. Uh, they deliver this without postage wherever you are for nine euros, so you can do the math. Uh, got pretty dope uh, other comics or art books, you have to actually to say, by uh, this guy here. Um, this year is oversized, not mini at all. Just to take bicycle day as a comparison um, and uh, yeah pretends to have some kind of narrative uh, anatomy narrative well it has some kind of um, reasoning behind the sequence of art pieces uh, because it follows uh, the human body from head to toe toes with these um, anatomy cross sections that it that he combines with, um, yeah, uh, comic art, pieces of comic art, uh, for the most part of the more nostalgic, golden agey, maybe a silver agey vibe. And uh, some are really confusing, but you can, well, all of them pretty confusing, but you, the longer you look at them, you get uh, what he actually has used. And, um, so, yeah, great stuff. I mean, as I said, it this would maybe have worked without the colors, but as well, but it would be even more confusing without the colors. So just one more artist uh, to go until we can arrive at my final destination for this video, uh, the Brecht Evans book. And uh, this is a new, um, 
version of the spiral bound art books uh, by Tetsunori Tabaraya. I uh, had this binoculars before. They are published by uh, Color Code in uh, Canada and are uh, usually sold out relatively quickly. So if you ha want to have one of these, you have to be quick and um, Comic Crack was so nice to inform me about um, the arrival of this uh, new book here so I could get my uh, greedy fingers on this beauty here. It's all uh, riso printing and makes it um, advantage of the, the possibilities of uh, the, the colors that you can create with this printing technique. Um, yeah, just just amazing. I mean, uh, I, love, I love his comics, his uh, on this plastic like paper, these black and sil uh, silver on black uh, comics. I like uh, this stuff here, which doesn't add up obviously uh, to no narrative at all. Um, yeah. Wonderful stuff. Yeah, one of uh, some of the books that I really love from all of my collection the most, uh, uh, maybe. So, talking about favorites, as I said, it's one of my top 10 books uh, this year already, uh, is this one, The City of Belgium by the Belgian Brecht Evans. I mean, you <laughs> take, take some time to decipher uh, the cover alone here. Um, and he has a very peculiar, special, particular style of um, using colors uh, the wa of the watercolor kind and um, real watercolors. And um, but this is, in many many ways, an exploration of storytelling techniques. Um, Reminds me a bit of Scott McCloud, uh, how to do comics, uh, but without spoon fe feeding uh, the stuff to you. I'm, I mean, I loved uh, the sculpture, don't get me wrong, but um, for an example. Um, but here we have uh, lots of different new possibilities to tell a story. Uh, and um, for a good part, uh, it's his use of colors, for an instance, um, to show us who is talking with whom here, he uses the different colors for uh, different uh, characters. So this blue guy talks blue and you see he uh, speaks to all of these and uh, the blue lines are the lines that he's uh, speaking. And uh, this is through a way he indicates throughout the book who's talking to whom, which is very clever, very efficient, and um, and and beautiful as well. And he has this way of showing cross sections, uh, the movement of people in this fashion here. Um, so what's this book here all about? <laughs> just take this page here. Uh, it's all about just uh, this guy. He um, um, yeah, wants to spend one night in uh, the city of Belgium. I mean, it's uh, some kind of idealized uh, or idolized uh, metropolis. Uh, maybe think of Brussels crossed with New York, crossed with Berlin, however, and you get the impression it's uh, the city as uh, in, in capital letters and he wants to explore the nightlife in capital letters. And here we have see him walking uh, downstairs, that's the uh, staircase, and all these little, we get a little glimpse into the life of all the co-inhabitants in this big building. So the city and the life in the city is from the start of the book here, the main character. But this can go awfully wrong so that you don't have any focus in, in the book. 
but not so with this book here even though we can get glimpses into freaks and and uh, normal people and so on we have this focus with this guy here uh, look at just this double page here and we are just at the start yeah um, look at this double page which looks much more beautiful in 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 person when you look at the the book i'm pretty sure so and after a while you see our blue guy walking down the road and well, that's actually the story part of it or however um And he delves into the nightlife of the city of Belgium. And um, it's a celebration of nightlife and the, the freaks and birds of paradise that can live there. And uh, like this guy here, who uh, we will later on discover that he likes to be called Baron Samedi, this mm, uh, deity of uh, the zombie cult uh, one of the loas uh, maybe it's just a bipolar character who is, uh, switches between depression and euphoria um, but he gets some kind of status as a fantasy fascinating character uh, a bit like this other guy who was always in the, the center of attention in these parties and the other stories uh, story by Brecht Evans called uh, The Wrong Place. Um, I mean, you should check out uh, each and every book of Brecht Evans, but so far I would say this is his most ambitious and succeeding project in terms of storytelling from start to the end. Uh, it's just amazing. and. Um, you will later on, he um, shifts his focus to some certain characters and then you will flap. <laughs> look at these pages. It can be a bit overwhelming, I have to say. Uh, in the beginning, it took me several min uh, a decent amount of time to, to get through these pages. And I thought to myself, maybe he tried too much here. But uh, after you uh, you know about the main characters in the plot here. There are some main characters uh, that you will come uh, to know a bit closer. Then you can flip backwards and and see, discover uh, what have, uh, they have done before. So you don't read the book just from uh, start to finish, but always flipping back and, and just exploring what happened before. It's not always necessary uh, to, to see this, but it enriches your um, yeah, enjoyment uh, of the story here. Ah, here we have our Baron Samadhi character and as you can see that there's much more to him than just this uh, guy and he is um, one of his party friends that uh, he's meeting there. <laughs> um, yeah, what can I tell you more about this book here? Uh, other than it's a fantastic read and the characters here are very complex and uh, and they you get to know them slowly but surely and uh, at the first thing you uh, at the first time you see them or recognize them uh, as I said you do flip maybe back some pages before and and you get more details about them then you have some kind of picture uh, of them some kind of opinion maybe but you will change your opinion about all these characters and hell it, it's uh, and the whole idea of of the story here to to yeah um, tell us about one night in this uh, metropolis um, huge city nightlife. Uh, it's of course not a totally new idea, but hell, I don't know if it has done before in comics and for sure not as good as here. This is eye candy from the first to the last uh, page and um, 
Ja, and, 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 and for your brain, uh, food for your brain. For example, here we have uh, this girl is talking to our Baron Summity guy, but he shifts out of uh, focus and, and uh, her talking shifts out of attention so that she's just uh, um, yeah, made out of uh, her rambling words without just sound and then she shifts into his uh, focus again. Just one of these examples that he, uh, Brecht Evans, uh, doesn't overdo. He uses uh, these possibilities uh, to, to speak with images and words uh, in a fantastic, and, and colors, of course, in a very clever way. Um, so, yeah, I just can't uh, say uh, enough about this book, how much I love it. Uh, and. And one last thing about the books of Brecht Evans. These are really books that I love uh, each time that I read them a bit more. So I really wonder uh, how, uh, how fantastic uh, the second read will feel. I mean, I, with one read through, you actually have already, or I did, uh, read this book maybe twice uh, because of all this back and forth uh, in, in it, uh, this Where's Waldo feeling. It's almost beyond me uh, to, to imagine how one person alone could have achieved this book here. And um, along with all the other fantastic books by Brecht Evans. But as I said it, if you want to, uh, yeah, uh, find out about uh, Brecht Evans, start with this book. Um, it's for sure not his easiest work, but uh, his most sa uh, satisfying in the end. So this was my little overview of some kind of center around uh, Brecht Evans. Thanks for listening and watching. Goodbye.